What's racking guys, welcome to episode 10 of my FCU Threat Career Mode. So we're in this episode with a match against Nakbrada here, of course. Uh, so we did drop some big points in the previous episode, honestly. We had a chance to move in front of PSV and Ajax uh, due to some games in hand and like, but just we couldn't convert on those chances and get ourselves closer to that second Champions League spot, of course. In this match, we're going to have to put in a pretty much backup squad. Savic is the only guy who's been really consistently in the team. See, Verbeek is actually even starting for us. He's not played much, but uh, you'll see us getting started here. Nice bit of play from Barazai. He's going to play the ball back to Verbeek, and he's going to hit that over. Uh, you can see he's definitely not a striker. I decided to try to give him a shot there because we just do not have too many options. Definitely need to invest in some more strikers next season. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, a big ball over top here to Barzait. He takes a shot in a good save from the Nak Brera goalkeeper there. Uh, as we do try, try to win the ball back as it's deflected out there. But uh, you'll see them coming back at us. Uh, have a bit of space. Ball played over top here. Have but a big tackle there from Fuentes uh, to take him down in the box. And honestly, it's just a FIFA foul. An EA-esque foul that just really um, shouldn't happen, uh, basically. Uh, the ball should just be gone after, in, uh, but unfortunately, kind of basically just went towards the man instead of the ball, which happens quite frequently. Um, I didn't look like too much, and I'm probably just exaggerating because I'm a homer. It's my team, but uh, either way, it's a penalty, it's a foul in the box, so uh, and a red card. So we have to try to get on and grab three points here if we want any chance at going forward and getting a champion spot. See so here, we're gonna step up and take this. We guessed the right way, Verhoeven with the big save to even tip that out, prevent a possible rebound for an easy tap in on that penalty. What a great play from Verhoeven, but a big save again from him uh, for a guy who's I mean, he's 34 right now uh, and of course he's only about a 67 he plays out of his mind we see we're gonna get a chance here oh uh, Selness is going to draw a big uh, foul right here which is a pretty big guy he's actually more of a defensive midfielder I'd say but uh, he's been playing in that um, shuttler spot and that box-to-box -box role for us and he's been doing pretty well there and he's gonna draw a foul in a precarious spot so we'll see what he can do with it here uh, as you can see Sarpong gets the card and Selness is of course gonna take it with his left foot can he get good contact with it and yes he does a uh, huge goal from him keeper probably should have done better but uh, can we steal some points here steal three points in a match where we're down a man that would be absolutely huge as see a big dog pile on him actually for I believe this is actually his first goal in the league for us um, so that's a big goal of course uh, brought him in from Rosenberg the young central midfielder and that is his first goal in the editor of VZS yeah, so a big job good job from him but looks like he's gonna have a chance here late look at this just poor defending. I was pushing numbers up for some reason, but great job there from Lu Win to win the ball off the of Sarpang. And so we may have a chance here to grab another goal. We'll see what happens, but we do end up just winning that matchup, thankfully, 1-0. But now it's just time to get into this matchup against PSV. Huge matchup here. Um, it's, it can basically decide the fate of our season. As you can see, they're fairly close. A win over them, three points would be huge. If we want to try to course get close to Ajax, that second champ Champions League spot, of course, that would put us in the Champions League playoff. So many good players. They still have Depay. He's such a good player, so we're going to have to watch out for him. Uh, he's actually second in the Golden Boot race right behind Boyman's right now. So, uh, of course, this would be kind of a Golden Boot battle, essentially, for both players. But uh, we're going to be back to basically our starting... But I'm actually going to play uh, our new player, the five-star skillers at Cam right there. Of course, I haven't said too much about him. I decided to give him a go. I don't know what it was. We'll see what happens. Um, if things can go right for us, he can do some good here. Of course, he's those five-star star skill moves, and he's uh, very promising. Look at this great ball to Rubin. Puts it off his defender. He's going to finish that. Great finish. A great ball as well. Been playing a bit more direct lately, I'd say. Uh, just trying to... Been hard to break down the defense. And look at that. Beating his defender. And he just rifles that in there to put us up ahead against PSV. He's had a very solid rookie season, of course. His first season as a professional. Just great stuff from him. Hope to continue to see him really see the pie running at the def defense and look at that's a big save from Verhoeven. Thankfully, able to contain the pie right there, uh, prevent him from really running at us and grabbing an equalizer. But uh, see, we're gonna draw a foul here uh, in a interesting spot for a free kick. 
and you'll see here uh, what happens. A brilliant ball in, in which Naldum is going to get his head on that. What a free kick, uh, and what a finish, what a run. Really should have done a lot better, maybe defensively, but that is just perfectly crafted on that free kick and just can always be tough to defend that especially a big man such as Wijnaldum but uh, you'll see here them coming back at us late in this matchup um, a good chance running at the defense by Verhoeven again has been tremendous that veteran keeper for us it's great to have him on our side but you see actually our our youngster is going to pull off a nice skill move but he's going to get clattered look like a foul but they're not saying it's a foul and I have to say it's probably gonna be a big injury as, as you can see so we'll see what happens very unfortunate I get a really solid uh, you know five-star skiller uh, that's a of course um, a youth player and this happens so we have to bring it out later and see what happens now but you see a good ball switched over here and look at that they come so close PSV probably should be ahead but uh, we're holding on <laughs> basically balls me uh, back to the other side switched here see what happens I get beaten right there get a bit of a deflection but look at that pounces on the rebound to put them up 2-0 that is just so disappointing right there just so close to holding on but unfortunately we cannot very disappointing of course the pie is going to grab another goal to bring him closer to Boyman's in the golden boot race and give his side a huge 2-0 2-1 victory uh, just man we could have done a lot better there it's very frustrating unfortunately that is just what happens you can see the board's a bit disappointed look at that uh, ACL tear essentially for seven months I believe that says uh, but uh, either way Disappointing to lose that youngster, of course, from Norway. Uh, he looked very promising, and this has to happen. So uh, he did actually look pretty solid. He, of course, beat that guy and stuff. But uh, it's just very frustrating that that game was very disappointing. But uh, we're going to have to try to bounce back here against SC Cumber. Cannot have a huge collapse and drop, of course, below 20. I'm not even sure if that's even possible math mathematically. But uh, we don't want that to happen either way. Um, so we're going to put out a fairly strong squad here. You can see, uh, of course, I would say it's full strength and of course uh, we have to grab the points here uh, definitely a full strength squad definitely need to grab uh, three points bounce back from what's been some very bad form I'd say you see good stuff from Savic gonna play the ball here to Fuentes but he loses the ball but regardless he's going to win the ball back he's a big man as you see tumbling down into the box and he's going to get taken down on trying to cross the ball in and cross goal unfortunately uh, he gets taken down and now we have a chance at a penalty here uh, definitely say it was justified but very unnecessary on the computers part there either way we'll take it as we try to bounce back and uh, grab an early goal here so Boyman's will step up and take this and he's going to slot it away just hit it up with some power uh, high up has the goalkeeper going the wrong way uh, great job from him of course he's been grabbing so many goals he's been a tremendous player for us a big surprise uh, especially uh, you know He's just a big man. He can head the ball. He's a solid finisher, as you can see with all those goals there. Hope we can get him to the 20 mark by the end of the season. Uh, and you'll see Guemes coming back here, trying to make something happen. Has a bit of space. Going to play the ball to Boymans. Cut the ball back onto his right foot. Play to Barazai, who's going to finish that with his head. Of course, crossing has been kind of our forte, our strong suit, suit uh, throughout this career mode. Because, of course, we have the big man, Boy Mins, and, of course, Ruben is pretty good in the air. And Barzait is decent there. Of course, Allator can get up there, but it's not done too much for us, I'd say, this season. So a big goal from him. He's been pretty solid, consistent throughout the year. Uh, we'll see what happens, of course, with the uh, incoming tr um, free transfer of Giasi Zardes. But uh, you'll see here, again, them running at the defense, but a big save from Verhoeven. Uh, that, that was not a save. What am I talking about? <laughs> Either way, uh, that is a goal, but it uh, should have done a lot better probably. Uh, they grab a goal back, but it looks like this uh, was pretty much dominated by us. Uh, either way, so we'll grab the three points here, and we'll move on as they're just walking into each other all uh, weirdly, and he's walking into the net. Uh, that just kind of probably summarizes our season. I don't know, man. This has been a very weird episode. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, we have grabbed the victory here, as you can see. Pretty dominant, which is why I did not show any other highlights. So that goal 
was unwarranted. We dominated the entire match. But as you can see, uh, there's not too much of a chance to catch up to Ajax. But uh, we have to keep the faith, guys. Keep hope in mind or something. But uh, either way, I, it's been a pretty entertaining uh, first season. I hope we can capitalize on what has been a great season on the next one. Of course, we have three games uh, left in the next episode. Then we'll be done with the season. Basically, uh, it will probably be pretty short if we do not... Um, qualify for the ch second uh, Champions League spot and the like. So we'll see how things go there. Definitely have enjoyed uh, your guys' feedback so far. Thanks, guys, for tuning in again. Hope you enjoyed this seri season so far. Of course, next episode will be the season finale, guys. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.